Hi, I am Dr. Jacob Larson, and this is Read, Write, and Cite, the channel where I teach you how to read, write, and cite for your college classes. And this video is part of a series on punctuation. We're hopefully trying to make those things, those marks that show up in your writing, uh, a little less intimidating. In this video, we're talking about ellipses. Those are the dot, dot, dot that you see when you type something out. Okay, so let's talk about two things in this video. We're going to talk about what the rules are for ellipses, like what your teachers expect, how it shows up on the computer and when it marks it wrong. And then we're going to talk about how we actually use ellipses. Okay, so let's get to it. First of all, ellipses it kind of sounds a little bit fancy. It sounds like it's not English because it's not. It's Greek and it basically means something has been removed or taken out. And that's kind of what the, the rule is when it comes to ellipses. If you've got a quote, you know, you've taken some words that someone has said, and maybe you took a couple words out of the middle because they're not really relevant for what you're saying. It doesn't change the meaning, but they're not really relevant. You take out those words, dot, 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 you're a little simpler, and you've shown something has been removed. That's what the dot, dot, dot means, right? That's it. That's kind of how you use it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. So... Let's, uh, let's say you're, you're writing, a, you, you've taken a quote that someone has said for a paper that you're writing, it's really important, but kind of in the middle, they veer off track and it's not the most famous parts and you wanna focus on the famous parts. So you include, you put your quotation mark, the most famous stuff, dot, 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 and then the rest of the famous stuff, end quote, you cite it, you do all that stuff. But in the middle, you had your dot, dot, dot because you took something out. Now, in academic writing, you don't want to change the meaning, you don't want to take something out of context, but you kind of want to show something has been removed. We do that, it's a signal to the reader that uh, something has been removed. So if they go and they check it for themselves, they can go see what was removed, right? But you didn't change any meaning and uh, you just kept it focused on the, the most important things. So dot, 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 ellipses. That's it. That's how you use an ellipsis when you write. Now, let's talk about a couple of things you do and you shouldn't do before we get on to how people actually use them. Okay, first of all, it's three dots. It's not two, it's not four, it's not five, it's not anything else. Because the number of periods actually means something very specific. Okay, so let's go over that real fast. One dot, boom, well that's a period. In America, we'll call it a period. Other places, they call it an end stop. It's the end of a sentence. One dot, boom. Not an ellipsis. Two dots, it's, well, it's not an ellipsis yet. It's just two dots, which doesn't really mean anything. So don't do two dots. Two dots, no. Okay, when you get to three dots, dot, 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 that's an ellipsis. That means something's been removed. Okay, four dots, <laughs> this shows up every once in a while, including at, you know, at the beginning of Star Wars, it's got all the words going out. At the very end, they're gonna end with dot, 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 which is an ellipsis followed by a period. That's what four dots means, okay? So one dot is a period, end stop. Two dots, not a thing. Three dots is an ellipsis. Four dots is an ellipsis followed by a period. So that actually means something. Anything above four dots, people just getting carried away and crazy, right? Okay, so those are the rules. That's how you use it. If you don't want to get dinged on a paper, you don't want to get marked down. Okay, one dot means something. Three dot means something. Four dots means something. Anything else is not following a standard English rule. All right, so let's talk about how people actually use dot, dot, dot. We use it an emotional way sometimes like, oh, there's more to what someone is about to say, but they haven't said it yet. Uh, maybe when we're texting, we put dot, 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 like, uh, it's a pause. It, we're using it emotionally, not as, as a sign of uh, punctuation or grammar to show something has been removed, but we've added this extra meaning and it's fine. It's fine to do that. Um, if you're writing dialogue, maybe a short story or something like that, and you end a sentence dot, 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 that's fine too. Your reader is going to understand it. It's okay. But dot, dot, dot means something has been removed. Something is not complete. 
if you want to stick it at the end of a sentence like they do in Star Wars, dot, 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 dot means it's also the end of a sentence, but that there's something extra. You're not using it like we do in academic writing to remove something. You're showing that something else would be there. Like maybe someone is thinking and they kind of trailed off and stopped talking. Make sense? Now, when you text with your friends, standard English doesn't really matter. As long as they get it and there's no way, I mean, you're fine, right? No one really cares how you text with your friends. There's no English teacher checking your stuff going like, mm, that's, no, it's not going to work. No, no, no. Right? It's fine. <laughs> no one really cares. It's okay. As long as your friends don't care, it's fine. Right? Do whatever you do. Don't feel bad. Don't feel anxious about it. I mean, as an English teacher, I feel anxious about it, but you don't have to feel anxious about it. But when it comes to writing a paper for school, you want to make sure, okay, you're going to follow all the rules that you're expected to and how you text with your friends really doesn't apply. It's just a different thing. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is there's an older style of writing that used to put dot, dot, dot at the beginning of a quote and dot, dot, dot at the end of a quote that really, as far as I'm aware, really hasn't followed MLA style, which I predominantly teach in English classes. That hasn't been part of MLA for about 20 years, right? I want to say starting around the sixth edition of MLA, they kind of took that out. It's not really something we do. Because when you quote something, you put quotation marks and you start using someone's words, it's implied something else may have come before, right? And when you put quotation marks at the end and there's you're showing that that's the end of what you're quoting, but it's not saying it's the end of the idea that the original author said. So it's implied there could be something else there. So it's not necessary to put dot, 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 have your quote and dot, dot, dot at the end. It's just, it's redundant. It's unnecessary. It's implied. Okay. So you don't need to use it then if you are removing something, not to change the meaning or to change the context, but simply simplify what you're doing, it's totally fine to put dot, dot, dot. Does that make sense? I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have questions that you want me to answer in a video, please let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, thank you. I am Dr. Jacob Larson. This has been Read, Write, Insight. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like it. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.